for those that have your Bible, the scripture text today comes from Ephesians 6 chapter. Can you please open up your Bible to Ephesians 6 chapter. That's in the New Testament. Bible is our weapon, is our book of instructions, is our guardian in times of trouble. <laughs> Ephesians 6 chapter, beginning with the first verse. Children. <laughs> Just so happen to be on children's day. You can. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Let me say that again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor your father and mother. Which is the first commandment with promise. That it may be well with you. And you may live long on the earth. Verse 4. This is for the parents too. And you fathers. My mothers. Do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonishment of the Lord. Ammunition of the Lord. Amen. I had some glasses. I got them this week and I put them on. I can't even see. So I left them at home. Children, obey your parents. And for a subject, I would just like to use the benefits of God's promises. Amen. The benefits of God's promises. You may be seated. Benefits. In this lesson today, uh, we want to offer instructions to all the children here in the importance of being honorable, obedient, and favorable in the eyesight of God. All right. This world is constantly changing around with this modern technology. Yes. Always talking about that. Exposing our children, our youth, to any and everything. Yes. Amen. In an attempt to diminish the teachings of our forefathers. After all, <laughs> this country was founded on the, the sense that we can have freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Right. But prayer has been taken out of schools and public places, leaving the home and the church the only place for Christian education. The Bible in Proverbs 22 and 6 tells us to train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. I'm a, I'm a believer of that. Train up a child, you know, like, uh, uh, why do you, why did it say train up a child? Because a child is trainable. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. That's you know, because when you get a certain age, you can't carry nothing. Right. <laughs> you know, when we get set in our ways, I don't care what it is, yeah. you can't train right. an old person. That's right. Bring me to my friends. Right. Right. That's right. Okay, Jay. When I went to grade school, every morning we would recite the Pledge of Allegiance and the Lord's Prayer. Every morning. Also, once a week we would go to a church where I'm from Dunbar South. Went up on the hill for Bible study. Even on Sunday, there was Sunday school in the morning. And that evening, we had BYPU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Baptist Young People's Union. That's right. And this, is, this union was designed to unify Baptist young people. Right, right, six right. points to increase spirituality, right, right. to stimulate Christian service, to edify scripture knowledge, right. to give instructions in Baptist doctrine and history and to enlist young people in missionary activities. B-Y-P-U. Amen. But, 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 
Young people should take heed, heed to the fifth commandment found in Exodus 20 and 12. See, see, that's when you have your Bible so you can go back and study this. Honor thy father and mother. That your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. This is a commandment of promise. This is one of the benefits that you receive from God's promise. And, and you know what a promise is. It's something that you're going to see. You tell somebody, I'm going to do this for you. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. God is saying that he promised yeah. that you would live long on this earth. Right, right. If what? You honor your mother and father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you be obedient. Uh, uh, in our lesson day, I'm, I'm, I'm gone because I don't want to hold you long. You know how our attention stands. <laughs> I want you to get this. I want you to receive it. And I want you to act upon it. In our lesson day, we find Paul had written a letter to the church of Ephesus. Stating that the great duty of children is to obey their parents. Right, right, right. right they right. should not only obey outwardly, but inward as well, right, with right, honor right, right. and respect. Right. There we go. Oftentimes, we disobey. So I'm going to put myself in young people's spot. Right. And when we disobey, bad things happen to us. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And give you a little example, you know, I know some of you know, like I mentioned before, Dunbar South, Dunbar South, Dunbar North. And when we get out of school, my best friend was John Wagner. And we was walking home to school. We were supposed to go straight home. Right. No, no fooling around. Yeah. Yeah. Home. But but we decided that we were going to take the long way. And we was playing ball in the middle of the street. I would throw a ball up to him. He would run across the street and catch it. He would throw it back to me. i will catch it. So the, the security, not the security guard, but the, the, the what you call those, patrol, patrol on Yeah, patrol boy. I was gonna call his name, I was gonna say Jackie Kersey, somebody like that. I don't know. Anyway, he told us, stop throwing the ball. And matter of fact, giving the ball, he took the ball away from us. But I, some kind of way, I don't know how, I got the ball back. And we were throwing this ball, back and forth again. And when we got to this intersection, I threw the ball to him and there was a car that was halfway down the block, back all the way up the street, and hit my best friend. He went up in the air like this and I could just see him just flying around. Fell flat on his nose, you know? But don't you know, before I got home, my mama knew about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of way she knew, knew about it. And that's the way it was back in our day. The community yeah. felt responsible yeah. for the teaching and training right. of young people. Right. You had somebody behind you besides your parents. Right. And especially at church, if you mess up, <laughs> whoever see you, they will punish you. Right. Back in our day, we would get whippings. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and when you got home, you got another whipping. Yeah. Train up a child yeah. in the way he should go. Right. But, 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 but we don't mean to be disobedient, right? right. We just forget sometimes. Uh, it right. is hard to remember to do our chores, right. to clean our rooms, or come home straight from school. Yeah. Because we're having so much fun playing texting or on the internet right. but Paul not only gave the instructions to the children yeah he gave it to the parents as well right. 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 to bring them up well under proper and compassionate judgments and in the knowledge of the duty God required right. 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 but you know when we look back way back in the Old Testament but they had a roof See, we got, we as children, young people, we got it made. All right. You know? Right. <laughs> we got, what, time out? All right. Yeah. All right. 
sit in the corner. No TV. No phone. No video games. No after school activities. But let me tell you about back in the day. Go ahead, back in Deuteronomy. If you go to Deuteronomy 21 and 18, I'll read it just like it is. If a man has a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and who, when they have chastised him, would not heed them, <laughs> then his father and his mother should take hold of him All right. and bring him out to the elders of his city, uh, right, to the gate of his city. Can you imagine what's going to happen now? Uh, <laughs> and they shall say to the elders of this city, this son of ours is stubborn right. and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. All right. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Well, we know y'all too young to do that. Then all the men of his city shall stone him to death with stones. So you shall put away the evil from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. Don't you know if I was back in those days, I wouldn't be here right now? I wouldn't be here right then. I'd be in a pit somewhere stoned to death. But God has benefits of his promises. Benefits in God's promises. He's always with you. He will always be with you. But children, obey your parents. <laughs> oh, man. This is one other verse I'd like to bring to mind. Because I'm talking to the parents as well. All right. Proverbs 13:24. Hmm. He who spares his rod right. hates his son. But he who loves him disciplines him properly. Right. Yeah. Right. Like I say, we're in the new day now. Right. Yeah. And, and children, you are our teacher. Right. And, and it's important that you grasp what I'm trying to say to you right now. To be obedient. I mean, sometimes an older person know what they're talking about. Right. Yeah. It may not seem like it. Of course, of course you know, uh, I had to try my own way myself. Right. And, and me trying, uh, doing different with my father and my mother taught me, I got caught up yeah. with the wrong crowd. Right. Right. See, see, when you have a a disobedient heart. Yeah. It's easy for the devil to come in and sit in, right. to get his claws involved in him. Right. I got caught up with the wrong type of people. Right. And, and you know my story, I told it before. I got hooked up on drugs. Right. And I was so hard in drugs that it just seemed like I just couldn't get up. Right. But one day, yeah. I remember what my mother and father taught me. Right. Right. Taught me to praise the Lord. Love the Lord, and you can do it. And I'm telling you today right. that if you just keep God in your heart, He's able. He's able to deliver you. I tell you, I, I know five and a half years ago, I decided to change my life over to God. I had to wait 30, 40 years before I can get right on track. But He's good to me right now. And he'd be good to you yeah. if you just let him get in your Bibles, children. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Good. Good word. Good word. Good word. Good word. Good word. Good word. There's benefits. God's promise. Yes, it is. He's promised you to have a long life. Yes, But he also promised you to have everlasting life yeah. in heaven. That's it. That's right. If you only believe in God's only son, mm -hmm. the son that came down to 40 and two generations, uh -huh. the son of David, 
seed of Abraham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was born in a manger. <laughs> a lonely manger. Right, right. In the city of Bethlehem. Yeah. But I come to tell you right now, this man, this man Jesus, yeah. grew and died on the cross for your sin. Right. For my sin. For everybody's sin. But Eddie, yes, Eddie one morning. Yeah. Eddie, yeah. early one Sunday morning, yeah, he got up yeah. from that grave. I said he got up yeah. with all power, yeah. all power in his hand. Yeah. Did you get something out of this lesson today? Yeah. Children, yeah. Yeah. obey your parents. Yeah. But parents, yeah. mm -hmm. don't spare that rod. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know they got this 911 and all this kind of stuff. I'm going to tell you what my mom used to tell me. Boy, you call 911. Go ahead. I'm going to give the police something to arrest me for because I'm going to beat them too. The benefits of God's promises. May God bless you. He may keep you. Thank you.